One of the cool things about geraniums is that they, the flowers change sex. So uh, this flower is a male flower. It's producing pollen. It has purple pollen. Um, you can see there in the middle, um, the, the anthers dart with pollen. But in a few days' time, those anthers will wither away and a little stalk will sprout from the centre of the flower. So let me just show you. Here's one that's in sort of transition. And you can see in the middle, the anthers are all, almost gone. Most of them have dropped off. But there's that little star-shaped structure appearing, which is the female part of the plant. And if we can find one, here we go. Um, yes, she got. Um, there's a, a fully female plant. So the, the, the idea is that um, they avoid pollinating themselves, which is, which is a bad idea, having sex with yourself, essentially. Um, so they start off male, and bees can come and collect the pollen, um, but the female part of the plant at that point isn't receptive. And so having, having produced their pollen, and hopefully it had been taken away, they then turn into a female flower and hope that uh, a bee will come along with pollen from a, a, a different flower, from a different plant ideally, and cross-pollinate them. That's the idea anyway.